put on your goggles for this one. We're going, we're going back in the ocean again. Here we go. We're diving deep into this list. I'm gonna try and throw some puns out and call it an intro. Put on your goggles and swimsuits because we're diving in deep. Welcome back to most amazing top 10. Here are the top 10 bizarre underwater photos captured by submarines. Kicking off the list at number 10, lost treasure. All right, listen up you buccaneers. There have been so many shipwrecks all throughout history that right now, at this moment, there's about $60 billion worth of sunken treasure just waiting just out there waiting for you, for you to put on your goggles and explore. Deep sea exploration teams have found a few recently. That's exciting. Back in 2012, we discovered the Port Nicholson, which was a World War II British merchant ship that sunk with 70 tons of platinum ingots. So many ingots. Ingots, gots, ingots. All the ingots or gits. That's over $3 billion worth of treasure. Not too shabby. Shortly after that, shipwreck hunters found the remains of HMS Victory, ironic name, which sank back in 1744 with a billion dollars worth of gold. It's not just finders keepers though. You know, as lovely as that sounds, this is not national treasure. Treasure belongs to people before and after the commute. When an American company recovered $500 million in gold and silver from a ship in Spain that went down back in 1804, they lost the rights to their treasure. They lost the rights to the treasure they found. That is so, can you imagine that? Guys, we're rich. Just kidding. The Senora de la Mercedes was a Spanish ship that sunk back in 1804. It was loaded with gold, silver, and spices, all the good stuff. It was found at the bottom of the Atlantic back in 2007, and these finders thought that they had 500 million. We're rich, and we can maybe, maybe pay off our student loans with this money. Money. Who knows? They were rich until the Spanish government sued the exploration team in 2012, taking all that treasure right back. All of this treasure. Yeah, not theirs anymore. Number nine, Magnificent Alien. How don't I talk about this little guy? Here we go. While the rest of the world was in panic mode, a new sea sponge was discovered in 2020. Named Advina Magnifica, which translates to Magnificent Alien. Literally, this thing's a little, little, little alien by himself. This sponge literally gets its name because it looks like E.T. And to be fair, yeah, it looks like E.T. Little phone home looking an ROV found this sample over 6,000 feet deep in the Pacific Ocean. They found it in what they called a forest of weird. That's just what you want to hear. Hey, how's the ocean? Oh, it's weird. Great. I'm not gonna ask anymore. Just alien sponges sticking their ET heads out, hoping for some passing food. That's what the ocean is. Christiana Costello Bronco, the researcher who found this deep sea squishy, explains the discovery in an NOAA interview, saying, "As all of these organisms are intricately connected, by documenting and describing marine biodiversity, we are building a better understanding of life and the impact of humans on Earth, and in this case, in the ocean." End quote. This little guy is the key to humanity's survival. I feel it. You can see it in his eyes, really, he's confident. Number eight, underneath Thwaites Glacier. We've seen some fascinating stuff here on Most Amazing Top 10, specifically underwater footage. We can't get enough of it. We love exploring the deep, as do you, hence why you're here. Hi, welcome back, thank you. Hit that thumbs up. This next one, I honestly couldn't believe. It's actual footage from the bottom of an Antarctic glacier. This glacier, though, is the size of Florida. So if it collapses, our sea levels could rise 10 feet. So yeah, let's drill a hole through the middle and see what's up. We'll send a camera down, no problem. In 2019, researchers did just that. They drilled 2,300 feet through the Thwaites Glacier, dropped a robot with a camera down it, and saw this. Now this is the first time we've ever seen the grounding zone of Thwaites Glacier. Lead scientist Brittany Schmidt says this project is a dream come true. Yeah, no doubt. This is beautiful. She describes it as her walking on the moon moment. There's only a meter of space between the bottom of the glacier and the rocky seafloor. Would you swim underneath it? Be honest. I would. No, I wouldn't. I would do this and come back really quick. Number seven, the rare whalefish. Located in California's Monterey Bay, scientists were able to get a close look at a fish with no eyes. So he probably didn't know he was being filmed. That's just unfair if you ask me. This little guy over here relies on his other senses to hunt and pick up on its surroundings. This footage was from over 6,000 feet deep, so the lack of light just decided the whalefish doesn't need eyes anymore in evolution. Isn't that great what evolution's like? You know what, you don't need eyes. It's pretty dark, you're good. Give me them, jeepers creepers, give me your eyes. It's great to get footage of them because whale fish are rarely recorded in the deep, let alone recorded alive. This guy is alive and well, look at him go. Not too fast, not too slow, just, he's on his own pace, he's doing his own thing. Number six, not treasure. We kick this list off with some deep sea treasure, that's always fun, you know, until it gets reclaimed and your years worth of exploring goes to waste. But many deep sea ROV trips are not ideal, they're not fun. We don't always find a mammoth tusk or a glow in the dark shark. Sometimes we find barrels of waste. This dump site here was discovered off the coast of LA, 3,000 feet deep. These ROVs found around 27,000 barrels of waste. Yeah, you thought I was gonna say 27. That's pretty bad. Add thousands. The 2021 discovery was deemed staggering. Yep, I'd say so. You can literally see in these photos this aura of toxic waste like emitting from it. I don't see any ET sponges here. This is a graveyard. This is no good. ET wants nothing to do with this. Number five. 
Hydra Medusae. Sounds like a spell. Sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Another crazy deep sea alien fish. Here we go. Let's do it. I'm never swimming again after this list. During a robotic exploration of the Marianas Trench in 2016, which is a pretty good place to get some deep sea fishies, researchers found a new unidentified species of jellyfish. How fun is that? We mentioned the immortal jellyfish on here before. That's always a good time. The jellyfish that Benjamin buttons it. He ages backwards. That's cool. This is another crazy one. Just a lot deeper. At first, it had its tentacles spread out as if it was ready to, you know, catch some prey or some human or some ship. I don't know. It's ready for something. The tentacles act as a net catch prey, which is interesting. A fish that fishes with a net. How lovely is that? Also super alien. He was found near the Enigma Seamount at a depth of 3,700 meters. Hadra Medusa jellyfish has a translucent bell, which is the most intriguing part when you look at it. Oh, also its insides are glowing red and yellow. So yeah, did I mention alien possibly? Because maybe. Number four, deep sea hermit crab. The deep sea hermit crab. Do I have to talk about it? I guess I have to talk about it. Instead of carrying around empty gastropod shells like a hermit crab normally does, the hermit crab we imagine when hearing their name, these deep sea hermit crabs carry around sea anemones with them. Yeah, they just walk on stilts. Look at these dudes. I'm sorry, deep sea crabs on stilts? I'm all set. This almost was number one. This is almost worse than a spider. Let's pray he stays at the deepest depths of the Atlantic. Number three, deep sea pigs. It's not what you think, don't worry. It's not horrible. These guys are a genus of sea cucumber, but they have these little tube-like legs and they look really cute, which is why I have to include them. Cute, also a little bit weird. These ones look weirder than normal sea cucumbers, which is an odd statement to make, but I'll stand by it. They like to live on the seafloor where they move through the sediment searching for their next meal. And they eat by extracting tiny little particles of organic matter that have fallen from the surface of the ocean. So they're just there, just waiting for scraps, just looking around. How sad is that? So hungry. Sea pigs measure around four to six inches long. So yeah, they're, they're pretty cute. They're tiny guys. I'll admit it, they're cute. And they live at a depth of somewhere between 1,200 to 5,000 meters deep. So don't worry about any of these little piggies touching any of your little piggies when next time you take a dip because they're quite deep. Small but mighty, their skin carries a natural poison which would make them a horrible midnight snack, as squishy as they look. When brought up closer to the surface, they literally disintegrate. So don't try it if you see one. It's like the video of the raccoon where he tries to wash uh, cotton candy Andy, he puts it in and disappears, he's like... Number two, the deepest plastic. We're almost done here, so we'll do a sad one for a second last spot here, why not? Back in 2019, Victor Viscabo took a dive into the Challenger Deep, which is the deepest part of the Marianas Trench, and he found absolutely the scariest thing to ever see in the ocean a plastic bag. Yeah, you don't want any of this in the ocean, for sure. Some guy brought some spaghetti home for the family, tossed the bag out, now it's all the way down here, and he has no idea. Awesome. I will say Victor broke the record for deepest dive, which of course is amazing for, you know, science, research, and advancements, and all that jazz, of course. But I feel like the more we discover and the deeper we go, the more we realize that we're inevitably doomed. And finally, number one, the deep sea anglerfish. So scary. Here we go. Let's end off on a scary note. Even scarier than pollution. It's not. Close. The deep sea anglerfish is just a sample of how terrifying the ocean can really be. We have no idea. It's also the most fascinating fish I've ever seen in my life. Living at depths of over 6,000 feet, the anglerfish lives in complete darkness. It was first discovered back in 1833 when it washed ashore somehow in Greenland. And then it was studied in Denmark. It was first referred to as the football fish or the mangobler. Mangobler is honestly more of a, yeah, I, I could definitely see that. The sea devils have quite the smile, but they don't often get a chance to show it. You know, being that deep and all and in the darkness. Finding prey that deep below the surface is quite the task. The ocean life is also quite sparse when it comes to meals of your choosing. Like I said, some of these guys have to just rely on just particles falling into their mouths. This is why it's often referred to as the fish that fishes. And it's all thanks to that little disco ball of death right here on the forehead. Female anglerfish have a glowing lure on the top of their head and it's awesome, it's beautiful. This light is created due to bioluminescent bacteria. Thousands of fish have it and the deep sea anglerfish uses it to hunt. It draws fish in right in front of its massive mouth and then they see the light and then moments later, bam, they see another light, the light of the fish gods. RIP, rest in Pacific. Hmm, not, not bad. Those are the top 10 bizarre underwater photos captured by submarines. If you want a part two, which I feel like you do, comment down below. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters, and I'll see you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. Bye.